Hey guys, Love of the Grain Workshop here today. Um, we're going to do another Shosugiban video. Uh, if I remember right, Shosugiban stands for charred cedar or burnt cedar, something like that. Um, I've done one before, showing you how to do it, uh, really to bring out the grain in the wood uh, by scraping it um, and sealing it with a polyurethane. Uh, they used a water-based polyurethane in that video. Uh, that was on a piece of pine. Uh, this is actually using actual red cedar which is recommended um, and what is used in Japan. Um, so we've got four pieces here. There's, there's two here and two that I've already done. Uh, so we're gonna show you how I've done them to get a nice deep dark crackle, which is what I wanna keep rather than scraping it all off on these pieces. These are gonna turn into a small console tabletop. So let's go. I will be using a handheld burns o -matic tank with uh, Map Pro in it, yellow. Uh, burns a little hotter, a little quicker than the blue tanks. Um, be sure to have a water bottle handy uh, in case things catch fire. You can easily spray them out. Uh, you don't want to drench the wood, but you don't really want it to continue to burn after you've torched it. Uh, so the water bottle actually comes in pretty handy.
So here's the finished product after it's burnt. It gets that really beautiful little crackle, kind of alligator or crocodile skin look to it. Some of it's kind of sooty looking like that. Some of it is kind of sheen, probably due to the oils in the wood. But it's got this really pretty even crackle all over the surface, really pretty. And then on the ends, it's got a nice crackle to it as well in that end grain. So to seal this, the last time I sealed uh, the pine one, I used a water-based poly, uh, acrylic basically, which is like a coat that goes over top, which turns into a plastic coating. Um, I've kind of gotten away from that. I don't really like that. I tend to go with the more natural oils now um, that absorb into the wood while sealing it and protecting it. It leaves the finish uh, feeling really nice, uh, more like natural wood than plastic. Um, for this time, I'm going to try with the cedar. I'm, I've made a mixture of basically a white, uh, Danish oil, which is kind of like a 50-50 of a uh, mixture of polyurethane, semi-gloss polyurethane, and boiled linseed oil. Um, you can also do like a wipe-on poly that you can make, which is a polyurethane mixed with 50-50 with um, mineral spirits. Uh, I'm going to try this because I don't have any mineral spirits, so let's see how it comes out. I'm also using a kind of old brush that's beat up. It's soft bristles, which I want because I don't really want to damage any of this kind of soft soot that's on here. It's pretty hard for the most part, but you can see if I rub it really well, it starts breaking up a little. I don't want to do that by rubbing it uh, with a rag, so I'll do it with a real light brush, but I'm going to drench it pretty well too. Uh, getting This is the outside edge uh, that's going to be on the front of the back, so I'm going to make sure to get that in the ends first, and then I'll do the top. Now, last time I made one of these videos, I got a lot of flack because I was torching the pine on top of my table saw. Um, a lot of people didn't like that. My table saw is an old contractor series um, Craftsman. It's super heavy duty. The bed or the uh, top of the table is solid steel. Um, so, I, and I didn't even really get it that hot, so I know it didn't affect it at all. I do like my saw. I use it all the time. Uh, so I wouldn't do anything that would intentionally damage it. And I don't think I accidentally damaged it. But either way, this time I'm doing it, as you can see, on some wood on a table. Uh, at the time, I was just kind of making a quick video. I didn't think it would really go so well and kind of go viral like it did. Uh, thank you for, for all the people that commented, liked, shared, um, and followed me because of that video. That's my one video that I kind of have fame to uh, a little bit right now. So I really appreciate all of it. Uh, hopefully this one will do just as well, although it's a different style of Shisugiman. It's not scrubbed. Uh, I'm leaving it that natural crackle. But again, thank you for all who are watching, uh, for anything that you do, any comments you leave, uh, questions you ask. I enjoy answering them as fast as I possibly can. Um, be sure to comment. Tell me how you like the video, what, I think, what you think I can improve on what you like about the video, maybe what you don't like about the video. I don't mind people giving me criticism. Um, I'm kind of new into this uh, as a, a part-time job for myself to supplement some income. So I'm open to suggestions. I'm open to people criticizing my work. So bring it. <laughs> um, be sure to comment, be sure to like, make sure you hit subscribe so you can see all my future videos. Um, and Share it. If you like the video, even if you didn't like the video, if you thought it was cool but you didn't like how I did it, whatever, share it uh, with your friends, your family, any other woodworkers you like, uh, that anybody you might be interested. So I really appreciate it. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook. Uh, some of my stuff is on Etsy, um, as well as again here on YouTube. As you can see, I put it on fairly thick, fairly heavy, but that'll absorb in there and soak up pretty well and it'll leave some of that crackle on there. I'm gonna try and probably just gently wipe some of it off where it's pooling. And I've got, yeah, there we go. And I've got a few other boards to do as well. I've got three other boards. So I'm gonna finish this one up, finish those three up, let them dry, and we'll be back to see what they look like.